All right, welcome back everybody. 639 and NBC4, of course, is your local election headquarters. We are less than one week away from the voter registration deadline and exactly one week from the start of early voting in Ohio and 34 days from the November midterm elections. We're talking it's right around the corner. <laughs> We're joined this morning by Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose right before your busy season, I know. Exactly. <laughs> sure. Yep. We're excited about election season. I uh, want to talk about this new initiative or new yeah. division that's happening inside the Secretary of State's office, the Public Integrity Division. That's correct. What does that mean and what will it mean for voters? So a lot of these are responsibilities that our office has long had, maintaining our campaign finance transparency, investigating when there are those rare instances of election fraud or even voter suppression. When those things happen, we need to be able to investigate them. Well, our office has had that responsibility for a long time, but we've never had actual professional investigators that can dig into the facts, get the information, and make sure that we bring bad guys to justice. Now, this is all about voter confidence and making sure that Ohioans can feel comfortable, that their vote is going to count, and that their laws are enforced. Yeah, I was say, some people will say, oh, this is great. It means we're secure. Others think, was this necessary? What, what do you say to both sides of that coin? Yeah, so there are every year a few elections that come down to a single vote. We've had 31 elections in the last two years that were determined by a coin flip because they were a dead tie. And so one fraudulent vote is one too many. Voter fraud is rare, but this is about keeping it rare and making sure that Ohioans can be confident of that. You talk about election confidence. How much of that waned in the last few years because of whether it's lawmakers in this state or nationally that have kind of made people think that voting is not secure, elections are stolen, anything like that. Do you are these are making these kind of efforts more important? Oh, absolutely. I, I always tell my team, we do things so well mm -hmm. that the loser knows they lost. Of course, <laughs> the winner always knows they won. They're going to go give a victory speech. We need to do our job so well that the loser knows they lost. That's the that's the standard that I have for elections. And yes, there are people that spread false information. This is nothing new in American politics. It has ebbed and flowed over the years. But right now, there is a high number of people that, that just don't trust elections, and we need to help restore their faith. So when does this public integrity division start? Does it start for this election, or are we looking two years down the road? Yes. Yeah, so it starts on October 10th is when we officially launch that. What we're really doing is consolidating several things that our office already has. And then after this election, we're going to be looking to hire some investigators, people that bring that maybe a law enforcement background or somebody that knows how to investigate financial crimes, for example, that can subpoena documents and do the data analysis and that kind of thing. Well, this is important, obviously, because as we mentioned just at the top here, the busy season is coming here. Yeah. There are a lot of important dates people need to know uh, as the elections officer here. What do people need to know here as we come along the registration deadline, early yeah. voting, and then of course. For so the, the next voting. deadline is October 11th. That's when the voter registration window closes. The Ohio Constitution says 30 days before the election, you have to be registered to vote. VoteOhio.gov is the place to do it. And just recently, we hit a big number. We're over 8 million registered voters now and climbing. That's something I'm excited about. So we remind people to go to VoteOhio.gov library of BMV or your county board of elections before October 11th to get uh, registered and then the next day early voting begins and whether you choose to vote early at the board of elections or whether you choose to request an absentee ballot now's the time to make that plan and we're still looking for poll workers to sign up to help us run the election yep. as well. It's a, it's a big election this year so we definitely need those poll workers. The absentee voting thing just to touch on that because that's a bit of a change for some people the requesting part yep. they should have already gotten that in the mail I know I got mine. Yeah so we sent out nearly eight million of those and for the people that are just now now registering, they will get one in the mail still. Uh, this is nothing new, actually. It's something mm -hmm. that Ohio's done for over 10 years. So you just mail that form in. You may get another one from a party or from a candidate because parties and candidates can send those out as well. Don't send in multiple <laughs> ones. If you do, you're only still going to get one ballot. Or you can go to our website and print off your own form. Or if you don't have a printer, we actually give you instructions there for how to make your own form mm -hmm. just with a plain piece of notebook paper. Really, we try to make it easy to request that absentee ballot. And you said early voting starts on Wednesday as people start to think about getting that, that, yeah. that rhythm again of going to the polls yep. and voting what do they need to bring uh, because obviously that's so important to make sure you go up you show up I should say with the right yeah. materials well first bring a smile because <laughs> those honestly those poll workers you. that are there behind the table they're working hard for us and they're they're our neighbors right yeah. Republicans and Democrats doing that work together mm -hmm. as Patriots but you want to bring a state ID or driver's license that's the easiest thing there are alternative documents you can bring if you need uh, to, to verify your identity and you can find that list right there at votoohio.gov whichever you choose early voting in person voting or absentee voting, they're all secure. It's just a matter of picking which one works best for you. And then just for everyone watching, as, as the election chief, you, they just want to hear it. How confident are you this is going to go off without a hitch every bit here for the next 34 days before big election? Day. I have the uh, privilege of leading the best 
team in the country when it comes to running elections. Ohio is better at this than any other state. And it's not just because of the hard work that my team puts in. It's 40,000 poll workers on election day. It's thousands of professional elections officials at each county board of elections. Ohio will do as we've always done and run a safe and secure election that's also convenient. I like to think we're the best at a lot of things. So if we want to say elections as well, we'll add that to it. There you go. Secretary of State hey, Frank LaRose, appreciate you. you. Yep. Uh, as we get ready for the busy season again, election day less than five weeks away for everything you need to know. Head to our website, NBC4i.com. You can download that free NBC4 News app and please become a poll worker because we need much more of those. I know my dad's one of them. My mom was one of them as well. You got to get out there. Right. You got to make mm -hmm. it happen.